I made my film debut in the 1950 film noir, The Killer That Stopped New York. I played little Walda Kowalski of New York City. Everything was going well for Walda. And then she sat on Sheila Bennett's lap and got a hug. Shortly after that, Walda died. Of course, I was acting for director Earl McAvoy, and it helped that Sheila Bennett was played by the noir favorite Evelyn Keyes. Even so, playing a death scene in my first film? Well, how great is that? Film noir has been celebrated for decades as one of the most intriguing film genres. Among its classics are Double Indemnity, The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, Gilda, The Killers, The Lady from Shanghai, and Gun Crazy. In his new book, Cries in the Night, Children in Film Noir, film historian Robert Strong has created a first. In a piece that appears on the back cover, actor-dancer Russ Tamlin, who appears in Gun Crazy, calls the book groundbreaking. Tamlin goes on to explain that Robert's 50 interviews with those of us who appeared as children in these films offer rare insight into the golden age of Hollywood and the genre of film noir. Now, Robert plans to make a documentary film version of his book. Capturing many of his interviews with people like Billy Gray, Jimmy Hunt, Kiki Perot, Jimmy Hawkins, Tommy Cook, Mimi Gibson, and myself on film. I'm asking that you support this creative venture. You will receive various gifts based on the amount you donate. These include a free signed copy of the book, Rise in the Night, Children in Film Noir, and screen credit as a producer of the documentary. Here's the link to Robert Strong's GoFundMe page. Visit his page for more details, and please make your donation today. For Cries in the Night, Children in Film Noir, I'm Beverly Washburn.